Assembly Republicans have stripped a leader of his post after members of his caucus say they witnessed him sexually harassing two women. Late today, Assistant Assembly Majority Leader Jim Steinecke said he personally witnessed Representative Bill Kramer harass a lobbyist and a staffer. Steinecke told Wisp Politics lawmakers went to a bar following a fundraiser. He claims he walked into the bar area to see Representative Kramer speaking to a lobbyist who looked uncomfortable and upset. Steinecke said Kramer's comments were sexual in nature. He then later saw Kramer put his arm around a legislative staffer and grab her breast. Then Steinecke moved quickly to get Kramer out of the bar. News Street political reporter Jessica Arp has more on the vote to remove Kramer from leadership. For the first time in state history, a woman now holds the position of Assembly Majority Leader, but under controversial circumstances. Colleagues, I rise today to make a motion to remove Representative Bill Kramer from the position of Republican Assembly Majority Leader, effective immediately. Assembly Republicans spent just more than an hour in private discussing allegations against Majority Leader Bill Kramer, accused of groping a female lobbyist and making inappropriate comments to a female staffer. Some of the actions actually witnessed by other lawmakers. We can't condone that. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. I don't care what caucus you are. We just cannot condone that type of activity. Lawmakers voted unanimously to strip Kramer of his leadership post. Then after discussion again in closed caucus, two retiring female lawmakers nominated each other to replace him. So I know that you would be a fabulous majority leader because you have a lot of dedication for this job. She's done a good job for us and I'm sure she would do a good job in, in the future. Legislators then elected Strakota as majority leader. When you woke up this morning, I didn't know that this is where I was going to be uh, this afternoon, but I uh, will step up to the challenge as the majority leader. Assembly Speaker Voss says he's unsure whether Kramer will return in the two remaining session days, but doesn't think he should return next session. And I think what Representative Kramer did uh, was without question reprehensible and something that can't be forgiven. So his district will ultimately decide, but I certainly hope he decides not to run for re-election. Kramer was not in caucus, and Voss said he had not spoken to him since he canceled the meeting Saturday and entered treatment. Kramer has not offered comment since the news broke. At the Capitol, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3. The Assembly Speaker said someone had filed a complaint with legislative human resources against Kramer, but wasn't aware of any criminal charges being filed.